friends welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to give you guys an update on what i have on all of my blocksburg plots i did one of these videos a couple of months ago and in that video i said i would do a new one every now and then so every couple of months or so and see as things have changed quite a lot since that last video i thought it was time for me to show you guys what i currently have on my plot because being a blocksburg builder i'm constantly deleting plots to be able to build new things on them and buying new plots and stuff so i definitely have more plots than i had previously i can't remember how many plots i have let me just check let's count these so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so i currently have 15 plots i think last time when i did this video i have either 11 or 12 so i've got two or three new plots since then um, but today I'm just going to go through and show you guys each of the plots. I'm not doing a full tour of all the plots because these are all on my channel. So if you guys are interested in any of these builds, please go check out the full video. It really helps support my channel by you watching these videos and helping me get the views up so more people will see my channel. So please go and support those videos. But let's get into it with the first build. Now the first couple of builds are the same as the last video because they were very important builds to me that I just couldn't get rid of. So these first five are all the same that were in the first video. But I will quickly go over them again for anybody who hasn't seen that video. So plot number one is a super important one to me. This is the first build I ever did on this channel which is my Barbie's dream house. I spent absolutely ages on this build and I do love it. I updated it a little while ago and it looks a little better than it did when I first originally made it but it's probably a plot that I'll always keep because I just can't bring myself to, le to actually delete it. I think if I ever deleted it it would be to rebuild it and make it better but other than that I just can't see myself deleting this plot. I absolutely love it. It's so pink and pretty and it's just one of my favourite plots. It's just super super pretty I couldn't ever get rid of it plot number two is another one that I absolutely love and it's probably my most creative plot this is my builder bear so I built this builder bear a couple of months ago now and you guys absolutely loved it just as much as I did I recently did a video where I took Pookie to it and we did a little roleplay video there but I just absolutely love this build it's kind of super detailed I have like the stuffing machine I have like the clothes you can buy we have the computers where you can name your bear and I just think it's really adorable it's definitely one of my favorite builds plot number three is my biggest and most expensive build this is my town center if you guys remember the town series it took me forever to make this I started this town way back when I first started my channel I think I started this town in even November or early December 2018 and I didn't fully finish it until June of this year but I have since then done some extra bits to change it as well so I've gone back in and changed bits but I do absolutely love this build it costs over a million Bloxburg dollars which is an awful lot of money so I spent an awful lot of time on it it's definitely one of my favorites and probably one of the most detailed if not the most detailed build I've done my campsite could be more detailed I'm not sure but they're, they're both up there as my two biggest most expensive plots and the ones that I put the most effort into so that is my town Plot number four is my family home. Now I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna renovate this house soon because I'm not really liking it as much as I used to do. It's one of the first like bigger houses that I built on Bloxburg. And at the time I really did love it and it's, it's nice inside, but I kind of feel like there's too much space and I could really make the space work better. And we have two lounges in it, which is a little bit weird. So I definitely do wanna renovate this house, but I do still have it at the moment in case I want to role play in it. But yeah, this is just my family home that I used to do roleplay videos in with Pookie. So plot number five is probably up there with the Builder Bears being one of my most creative builds. This is my soft play. I don't know how I ended up with the idea that I really wanted to build a soft play in Bloxburg, but I did and I made this soft play and I really, really do love how it looks. I think it's super pretty. Um, I made like a ball pit in it and it had all the like little things that you climb through and trampolines before the trampolines were actually added to the game. I could definitely update this now that we have the park update. So maybe that's something I'll do eventually or maybe we'll just build a new soft player. I'm not sure. But I do really, really love this build. Um, it's really cute and it's really nice to play it with you guys in. If you ever join me in the server, it's nice to load up because we can play about in the soft player and you get some really cute pictures in it because it's so colourful and pretty. So yeah, that is my soft play. So we're moving on to a couple of the newer houses that I don't think were in the last video. Not houses, I mean plots. So plot number six is 
probably my favourite plot of all time and it's the one I've recently finished which is my campsite. I'm absolutely in love with this campsite. I just think it's so cute. I love the naturey feel to it. It's nothing like I've ever built before because it is so naturey. Usually I do kind of cute pastely builds but it still is a little bit cute and pastely. But I absolutely love how this campsite looks and I really want you guys to go check out the videos if you haven't for the campsite yet because I definitely think it's something you should look at. I feel like it's probably the best thing I've ever made and you should definitely just check out the finished tour that I uploaded a couple of days ago on this channel probably about a week ago now because I absolutely love how this campsite looks plot number seven is my cat cafe I love this cafe it's super bright and colorful and I made this adorable wallpaper that's on the back of it and I made like cute little kind of things for the cats to sit on on the walls like climbing stuff and I just think it's really cozy and cute there's lots of places to sit we have a really adorable little kitchen area and it's just a really fun build to make I think I built this when I was a little bit bored of doing big builds and just wanted somewhere to break that up and I was super happy with how it turned out and yeah it's one of those builds where I got to make my own decals and I think they look super pretty you can check out all of these decals in my inventory on Roblox my Roblox account is linked in the description down below if you do want to go check those out Plot number eight is probably my favourite house that I've ever made, which is the Lakeside Family Home. I just think this is a super pretty house. It's not really a roleplay house, so I feel like it needs a bit more personality to be a roleplay house. So maybe I could decorate it sometime and give Pookie her own bedroom or something and we can move in here. I'm not sure, but I do think it's super pretty and just a nice aesthetic house. Um, I absolutely love how the kitchen looks with the big windows and the water coming around and I love the back garden and I just think it's probably just the prettiest house I've ever made. If I were to live in a house in real life this would definitely be it. I think when I made this house I tweeted out saying I think I just accidentally built my dream house because it definitely is probably my dream house. It's just so pretty. I've forgotten what number we're on if I'm honest guys but the next house is my tips and tricks house. This is a house I built ages ago when I did tips and tricks on how to do your exteriors of the house and how to make them look better and in the video I did say I was going to do the inside and just never got around to doing it so if any of you guys are still interested in on me doing the inside of this house do let me know I'll definitely try to do it at some point um it's definitely been on my list of things to do for a while but I kind of got a little bit bored of building houses I was building houses quite a lot of the time when I made this house and I just got a little bit fed up of doing it so let me know if you do want me to do the inside of this house and I will try to get that out for you guys shortly but it is a really pretty house on the outside and I really do like how it looks so the next plot is my no advanced placement plot now this is the plot that was supposed to be a no game pass house and if you guys remember I uploaded it as a no game pass house onto my youtube channel thinking it was a no game pass house and then completely realized that I used the two story game pass for it I didn't even think that the two story game pass was a game pass I've had it so long that I completely forgot and I accidentally used it to do um, the little kind of crossy over roof that goes over the drive and it was super silly of me but it is a super pretty house and I really like it so if you don't have game passes and you want to make this house work you can just change that little roof up and it does totally work and it's just really pretty I do really really love this house and it's super warm toned it's definitely when I was going through a warm tone phase that I made this so the next plot is exactly what it says, it's called empty plot number three and it's basically an empty plot, I have a couple of empty plots as you can see here um, but this one is just an empty plot, I used to have a build on it, I can't remember which build it probably was but I deleted it for money to be able to work on other builds so now it is empty and waiting to be built on eventually. So the next plot is the only renovation plot I think I still have. I don't think I've kept any of the other renovated ones. Um, I went through a bit of a phase on my channel where I renovated all of the pre-built houses. I definitely want to do this again soon because I absolutely love doing those. But out of all of them, the blocks into Mansion was definitely my favourite one to renovate. It's the most expensive of the pre-built houses and it was just really fun to renovate because there was so much I could change in it. Like the blocks into Mansion itself isn't my favourite house ever. It's a bit ugly so it's definitely fun getting to renovate it and make it look super pretty and I really love how this house looks it's very different on the outside to any of the other renovations I ever did and inside it's just super pretty I love the whole colour scheme of it and it's definitely really nice for a one story house also there's a really funny little garden on this plot which I can't remember building but I must have built it for a thumbnail or something at some point so I'm definitely going to delete that now because I wasn't aware it was there but I just thought it was quite funny that it was on the side of this plot next up we have empty plot number two even though this plot is called empty plot number two it actually does have something on it it had a green screen on it which I probably used to make a thumbnail at some point so there's just a green screen a bath and a clove rack so it was a little bit funny having it there 
After this we have empty plot with no number and this one is exactly what it says again it's an empty plot just waiting to be built on it probably had something on it before I think it might have had one of the pre-built houses that I renovated on and they've deleted it to be able to get money again because I don't really feel the need to keep those houses they're not as important to me as stuff like my campsite or I don't know build about or something like that and then the final plot is my let's build a house plot which you guys I know are waiting for the next episode on I promise I will try work on it this week and get that out they're just super hard episodes to do because they're super long and detailed and having to like edit when I'm doing um, commentary on them is super difficult as well it takes a lot longer to edit than a normal speed build but I will try work on this series soon it just got me a little bit exhausted doing it every week because it was just such an effort to edit it alongside doing other videos that I do in the week but yeah that is the final plot and I do really love this house I definitely do want to finish it because I just think it's super pretty but yeah please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video comment down below with any future video ideas and as always guys a huge thank you for watching bye guys Mwah.